Oh, they're getting active in the south. One person has been shot right here. They out to the hood out. At this BP on South Parkway. Check on your people. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, one thing I'm going to say is that nobody likes get back no matter who you are. The toughest of the toughest fold and show their emotions whenever it's their turn to be the victim on the side of get back. But the problem is that nobody tends to care when you was out here celebrating another man's death at a time when his family was grieving. They watch you taunt the dead, make videos making a mockery out of the dead, as well as go on social media and put sneaky captions about their deceased loved one, including family and friends. So when it's your turn, all you could do is expect the same type of treatment. And that's what Black Youngster is now witnessing as he recently lost his brother due to gun violence at a gas station in Memphis, Tennessee. Now, Black Youngster will finally respond on Instagram for the first time about losing his brother. And from the looks of it, he's planning on being John Wick against the world. But all we can say is that karma does not miss a soul. So we're going to get into what Black Youngster had to say following his brother's death, as well as the events that led up to him sending a crazy message out there to whoever the suspects in his brother murdered are. So let's get into it. Now, Black Youngster brother Tamanuel Benson was shot and killed in South Memphis Friday morning, August 18th, 2023. Reports say that approximately 9.30 a.m., gunfire rang out near a BP gas station on South Parkway East, not too far away from Southside Park. By the time officers made it to the scene, the person who was identified as Tamanuel Benson, Black Youngster's brother, was already deceased, MPD said. There's no suspects at the time, nor is there any leads or motives as to what may have caused the shooting, but we do know that this is Black Youngster's third brother that lost his life to gun violence. Social media will begin taunting Black Youngster for the shooting, with one individual stating that Black Youngster ain't got no brothers left. Now this type of taunting would be expected as Youngster would do the same when Young Dolph lost his life tragically in November of 2021. And in fact, most people are already saying that the death of Black Youngster's brother may have stemmed from retaliation for Young Dolph, being that many believe that them boys may have been a hand in Young Dolph's death behind the scene. So with that being said, let's get into what Black Youngster had to say as he broke his silence via social media and reacted to losing his brother to Manuel. Now Black Youngster would take to his Instagram story in the first slide and say, quote, I love you, baby brother. Rest up. I'm going to make the world pay. I swear to God, nobody's safe. Standing over everybody. Everybody. Hashtag for life. Then in the next slide, he says, quote, I'm ready for whatever come with this ish. It's okay. Don't feel sorry for me. I'm not going to feel sorry for nobody. Only God knows. Then in the next slide, he says, quote, go and make sure they feel me. I promise. Then in the last slide, he would end it off by saying, quote, life will never be the same, but God got me. I'm the strongest man in the world. Now, I tell you all the time that running to social media and making threats just isn't the right thing to do. I know emotions could get the best of us and we got to prove something to the world and, you know, our ego and pride get in the way, but nothing to the point where you risk your freedom for saying too much on the Internet. Just think about it. If he does crash out and then do something and get arrested, now his mother in law is two children to the streets. That's only making it worse. I'm not telling anybody what to do because I can't imagine losing a family member, let alone a brother, because I don't know how that feel. 
but you have to be smart and not put street business on social media. Then on the flip side, ain't nobody having sympathy for you because all he did was make a mockery when young Dolph passed away. Shooting videos by tombstones that said Dolph's real name, making funny captions, putting subs in your stories, the whole nine yards. So no one's going to have any sympathy for you. And it's sad because I don't know if the killing was a retaliation, but if it was, then you have to live with the fact that your little brother possibly isn't here because of you. And that's enough to make a man go crazy because then you start to think, yo, he had nothing to do with it. He's, he's innocent. I really don't know who his brother was, but at the end of the day, when you think about it and you have to fathom the fact that your brother lost his life due to some street business that you had going on, then you know you got to be around family members. They got to sit there and look at you. You know, they might look at you funny because they feel that the brother isn't here because of him. So, you know, those family events start getting awkward. The, the, the conversations with your family, everything just gets awkward. And I personally feel that if the beef is as strong as it is between these guys, then you shouldn't have your family in the streets of Memphis because people would get tired of looking for you and take one of your family members out and make you look for them now. And I know people are going to say, well, some family members are stubborn. Sometimes they refuse to leave the hood. And that's true. <laughs> you know, you got mothers. They don't want to hear that you got beef with so-and-so on the street. You got grandmothers. They don't want to hear it. But when it comes to the brothers, you know, and the younger ones, they got to be a little more smart about it because that's who they go for. Sometimes they leave the women and kids alone. But these days, you never know. And especially with the younger ones, that's who they target. You know, so in a case like this, when it's a war going on outside, you have to do better at making sure your people ain't at risk. And I'm talking about, you know, black youngsters. Now, it's clear that they was on to his brother because he got killed at 930 in the morning. That's personal. <laughs> you know, people were just wiping the crust out their eyes at that time. So somebody was on to him. They must have knew where he was going or where he was going to be, whatever the case may be. But they did it at 930 at, in the morning. So that lets me know that it was kind of personal. And I'm sure due to this killing, that is going to be more retaliation in the near future. And then the cycle just continues to happen. So let's just see what happens next, man. As of right now, Black Youngster sounds like he plans on crashing out and throwing it all away. Um, at a time like this, when the closest people need to be talking sense to him, they need to first start by deleting those Instagram posts. I don't get what people don't get. They have a thing called Instagram indictment. You know, that's a new thing that these policemen got. And that they could pretty much charge you off of things that you put on social media. Anything, they could bring it up in the court of law and bring it against you. And you got to defend that. And most of these guys get on live and they talk freely and say a whole bunch of stuff. So at the end of the day, it's hard to defend that when you on social media admitting crimes or alluding to doing something in the street. You know, it's all incriminated. So at the end of the day, man, it is what it is. Y'all jump in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.